All right, we're first joined by uh, UT Martin, sophomore Deja Young, 24 points, 11 rebounds. Uh, Deja, if you'll just give us a, a comment on how you think today's game went, and then we'll open up to questions. If you have a question, please let me know in the chat, and then I'll call on you. So, Deja, just your thoughts on today's game. Um, today's game was a battle. Uh, EIU, they played hard from start to finish. Um, we couldn't relax because every time – we were about to relax. They were going to come back. So they did give us a good game. I can't say that was an easy win, but they prepared us for the games ahead of us. Thank you, Deja. We'll go to Adam Wells. Go ahead and ask your question. Deja, how important was it for this team over the last several weeks trying to learn how to play without Chelsea and finding other options on offense like yourself or Sagan tonight? Um, it was very important for us. Uh, when Chelsea went down, a lot of teams – thought it was going to be easy to beat us, which I don't blame them. Um, but we found a way like we always do. We're used to adversity. We just found a way to keep going. And um, that's all we did. With that being said, I'm assuming the margin for error is a little bit uh, smaller than it normally is for, for you girls. Yes, it is. The margin is always small. Uh, when people play us, they don't make anything easy. So the margin was just never big to begin with. For you, how have you kind of embraced this this new role that you have with this team? You know, having you know, that offensive presence where teams are starting to key on you more and more. Um, it was kind of weird for me because I that wasn't my role to begin with, but uh, it just grew on me. My teammates they trusted me. I wouldn't be able to score as much if they didn't pass me the ball. So they trusted me, and that made me trust myself to do what I had to do to help us win in any way. Anybody else has a question? Or Adam, if you have more questions, feel free. Deja, how important uh, is it to uh, you know get an extra day off uh, tomorrow uh, before you girls have to play again on Friday? Or does that really mean much at this point in the year? Uh, it means a lot. With COVID, we've had games, like six games in 11 days. So it wears on your body. Uh, to have an extra day to prepare yourself physically is very important. Uh, mentally, it's already hard. But this extra day, we're going to take advantage of it. We're going to rest our bodies and get ready for the next game. Alex, you have a question. Go ahead. Deja, how difficult is it to play the same team twice in basically four days? And you had two monster games in a row and did it in really different fashions. Saturday, 30 points and you just knocked down a bunch of shots today. You knocked down a bunch of shots, but did it at the free throw line as well. Um, it was really hard because to play a team back to back to back, they know you, you know them. It's like you know their next move. It just really depends on who's going to play harder because we know each other so well. Um, my first game, I struggled on free throws, so I tried to make sure this game that I did better. I think I did a little better. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, playing a team back to back, it was pretty hard, but it just came down to effort at the end of the day. You made 16 free throws. That ties the school record with Jasmine. I know Jasmine is kind of a little bit of a mentor to you. Uh, to be in that kind of category, is that something that's kind of kind of special and, and interesting? And also kind of speak to being all OVC first team and how big of a individual accomplishment that is only in your sophomore year to be mentioned in the category with jasmine let alone is a award for me um she's a great mentor she pushed she pushed me since freshman year she never let me let up she seen me as a star before i even thought about me being that um and to make first team it's cool and all but it ain't gonna mean nothing if we don't win so that's really what i want to do mostly so whenever we win then I'll be excited for making first team. Anybody else, anything for uh, Deja? All right, Deja, thank you. Uh, we will we will let you go and we will switch to head coach Kevin McMillan here in just one second. Thank you. Media, if you have a question for Kevin, you can uh, tee, uh, tee that up in the chat. Just let me know. We'll have him start with a general statement here in just one second. Uh, all right, Coach, uh, we'll start first. Just uh, general thoughts. Uh, 
Well, Jonathan will fix the microphone there. General thoughts on how the game went, uh, and then we'll go to some questions. Um, I thought Deja gave a good, a good uh, uh, account for the game. I mean, it was a tough game. They played hard. Uh, you got to remember EIU was a four seed last year uh, and didn't lose anybody. And uh, Coach Ballant was gone uh, uh, part of the year uh, adopting kids. And so they kind of got off to a slow start during the season. So that wasn't a typical 1-8 game, which we knew it wouldn't be. Um, but it was, uh, it, and add to that, you have to play the same team in four or five days, which makes it even harder. So I'm, I'm impressed with our kids for figuring out a way to, to take care of their business today. Uh, but that's a, that was a hard fought game. All right, we're going to go to questions. Adam Wells is up first. Go ahead, Adam. Coach, what were what was EIU able to do to kind of prevent you guys from getting in an offensive rhythm, uh, especially in that second quarter when they made that run? You know, I, I think during that second quarter, um, we we made some mistakes uh, offensively. We, I thought we made, we missed some shots that we had made against them at their place, and we missed some shots that we made in the third quarter and fourth quarter. Um, so I think it was a combination. Of, I mean, they don't they don't they don't change what they do. Um, but I think it was our, our kids lost a little bit of focus for a couple of minutes. And, and later on in the season, you can't afford to do that. And uh, it could have cost us, but it didn't. Uh, but because we had built a decent lead, we just weren't able to build on it from that point. Um, what I liked was is that we came back and pushed it back out and, uh, and were able to, able to win. How important has it been for your team to, to play the way they've played these last couple of weeks without having Chelsea and, and being able to come into an environment like this against a tough team like EIU and kind of figure things out with different ways than you've been accustomed to? Well, I mean, I, I've already told our kids this, and uh, the hardest thing to do is win a regular season championship. That's the hardest thing to do because anybody can get hot for, for three days or four days. Uh, the big thing that uh, – that I'm the most proud of them in is that they didn't they didn't hang their heads and pout when Chelsea went down. Um, the thing that we hope for is, um, you know, she's she's getting better every day. And what I hope that we do is that when she gets back out there, and she'll be back out, is that we continue to do everything that we've been doing. You know, Deja keeps playing like she's playing, Sagan keeps playing like she played, Maddie, Paige, um, you know, everybody, and. Uh, you know, I hope that we can build on it. That's what you hate about a COVID year, uh, is that we had not had a chance to do some building on things, but uh, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll be able to do it this rest of this season. Offensively, uh, I mean, Deja's been in a great rhythm. Sagan gave you great minutes in that third quarter uh, with 11 points in the third quarter alone. How big were they tonight in, in kind of providing that extra boost? Well, you're talking about Sagan's a, a two-time state champion. Um, you know, and you're talking about Deja's a kid that she's coming, you know, she's not where she needs to be and she knows it, but she's coming. And uh, she's had to, she's had to shoulder an unfair burden this year with Chelsea going down. You know, I had a great plan for developing her. Um, the only problem is when Chelsea went down, my plan went out the window and uh, poor Deja had to get a little bit of a uh, final exam before she was had the total course. Uh, but she's done a good job handling it and, uh, and hopefully she'll, She'll keep getting better, but you know, you, you, you've got Maddie Waldrop out there who's won a state championship. Kiana Grant's won state championships. And you know, you have those kind of kids that are coming from those kind of high school programs. And uh, it gives you, at least it's gonna give your chance, a team, a team a good chance to win. As far as Chelsea goes, uh, she dressed tonight, but I'm assuming that the plan wasn't to play her today. And you just said that she, you expect her to play going forward. Uh, we're going to see when we get back to the hotel, we're going to put her through some workouts and we're going to get her out tomorrow and do it again. And we're going to see if maybe Friday she could give us a few minutes. Uh, it's the time of year where we would be, if this were a normal time of year, we would be playing her a little bit probably today, probably more so in the next game. And you try to progress her. Um, the problem is that this late in the year, you don't want to disrupt your rhythm. But I don't think playing her a few minutes is going to, and and hopefully she'll look good this afternoon and tomorrow, and she might be able to play a little bit on Friday. With that being said, how important is this extra day off? <laughs> uh, well, let's see. Uh, I uh, don't say. Okay, all right. 
It is tremendously important that we get a day off. I'll just put it that way. Anybody, Thanks, anybody uh, other questions for Coach McMillan? All right, Coach, thank you very much okay. for your time. Thank you, Kyle. Appreciate it.